All right, so if you're following at home, new day, new outfits. <laughs> there was so much to get in, we couldn't do it all in one day. So Tara Tucker, Michael Artsis, thanks so much for joining us here in the Spin Master booth at Toy Fair 2016. It's pretty amazing that you have so much product and so many brands under the Spin Master umbrella. It is, it's so exciting and we hopefully we'll get through it today. We can't do another outfit change, so. You look great. Thank you. Um, so what, what, these are amazing. I, I noticed that uh, Marshall from Paw Patrol was made up out of these over there. Um, these are Bunchums. They were the Toy of the Year. Wow. Yes. Another For activities, toady. another toady. Very, very proud of that. It's so much innovation in such a simplistic item. So these stick together, similar to a burr or perhaps Velcro. But if you notice the unique tooling, the little tiny hooks, it has to have the perfect amount of stick power that you're able to sculpt with them. And so it's been called the modern day Lego, the, the next generation of building and crafting. Well, what's cool is that it's soft and pliable and it's not, you know, you say Velcro, one side of Velcro is soft and the other side is very firm. This is very soft and pliable and fun and you can build some cool stuff with it. So you can build these in incredible items and what's really new um, is that not only can you build them and we supply little eyeballs and wings and, and different accessories, you can use your imagination. It encourages um, building playing, creativity, but now we wanted to bring them to life. So a little bit of technology. Oh, we lost his head. Oh, are you kidding me? You guys put electronics in there? Of course. We have to We have to do something new and novel and different. But So there's a motorized ball inside, which one, also helps you to sculpt the item, and then two, you can bring them to life whenever you want. Very, very cool. So that's Bunchums. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, and this would be uh, kinetic sand, is that correct? That is correct. So you're familiar with kinetic sand. It's a really um, exciting uh, line for us. It's wildly successful. We have the next generation. One is uh, sand. And what we did is this sand actually comes from Sweden. So it's real sand. I always wondered, was kinetic sand real sand? This is real sand, and we have a little bit of magic in it, but it's non-toxic. It's um, safe. It's actually even gluten free. If you ate it, it's fine. We don't encourage eating it. Don't do it. The kids do do that. But they eat happens. sand. It's totally fine. Um, and there's none that sticks to my finger. And look at it. It has the magic of kinetic sand. And then you can still build with it and you get amazing shapes and details in your build. So if you notice, it's pretty much uh, like using wet sand at on the beach. Which is the kind you use to build sand castles because you take a bucket, get the sand wet, and then you build it. But if you want to use more of the traditional kinetic sand, this is the traditional ki kinetic sand with more of a build property. So once it warms in your hands, you'll see that same terrific elasticity and magic that you have with traditional kinetic sand. But this one is firmer. If you touch it, you'll feel it's a bit harder than the, the traditional. Sure. So this is kinetic sand build. And you can build, and it stays. So where your kinetic sand or regular sand won't stay and maintain its shape, this will. Very cool. You can make a cake and leave it. Or I noticed you've got uh, some cars. Cars, yes. Tell me Jack wouldn't love that. He would love that. So, so would your Jack. Yes. Very cool. And then last but not least in the kinetic sand line is kinetic foam. And I think this is the coolest thing What is ever. kinetic foam? This is kinetic foam. So this is it after it hardens. This is kinetic foam in its natural state. So it's really building and sculpting this out of, you're sculpting this. You're making a sculpture. Yes. Wow. So this is foam and has a unique property as you can speak to. It's a little bit wet, it's but it's wet. not. Your hands it's, are clean. Right. And it's really easy to work with. So you can take, this is a soup can, and you can wrap it around and create cool designs and, and make Have a nice pen cup. Yeah, so easy. You can also take something that they've done in our office is an old car, you know, a car that you might have, like little toy car sure. that's beaten up, and you can mold it and put this on top. And I love this though. Like I know. A child could sculpt this and then put this in their room, and it's a sculpture, or give it away. It stays for good life. This is a, a regular box a that we use. Yeah. Cool. Use your imagination, and um, if DJ can show um, swing around on the wall, that picture is made all from kinetic foam. Wow, that is art. That's, That's yes. 
That is incredible. That's beautiful, too. That wasn't me, I'll be honest. But the possibilities but are endless. A young it. child could create that and put that in the room. Just out of curiosity, I noticed this behind you. Is this a Paw Patrol kinetic sand, like mini Paw Patrol? Exactly. So we give you the mold so you can make your own Ryder and Marshall. And then we have the, the Paw Patrol and in the lookout tower. So you are also inventing and creating along with using traditional um, characters that you know and love.